today we are at Mecca, aka yes. Buckingham Palace. Buckingham Palace here in London. We are going to be doing the state rooms tour and I'm very excited. Are you? I'm so excited. There's some tiaras on display. We love Always a tiara. Love a bit of diamonds. You know, you can't <laughs> say no to diamonds. It's the Platinum Jubilee exhibition and it's going to show the pictures from Dorothy Walden and also the jewellery that the Queen has been wearing in these photos. So it's going to be really exciting. Yeah, really exciting. Really, really and exciting. we haven't seen the state rooms for a few years, have yeah. we? So we haven't been there for a while. To see what's different. I mean, I can't really remember it to be honest. Mm. So I'm just excited to go inside. Yeah. If you like the royal family as much as we do, don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and like this video. And if you'd love to support us, then head on over to Kofi. The link is in the description below. We have just finished the Buckingham Palace state rooms tour, and uh, yeah, let's let's just start with this. We had a good time. Did you have a good time? Yeah, it was really good. Haven't been for about ten years. I haven't, so yeah. it's really nice to actually see the state rooms and not just the exhibition. Now let's talk about straight in the Platinum Jubilee exhibition, which on display was the Dorothy Wilde in pictures. Which, to be honest, let's start with those. There was loads that I didn't see. There was see. a few. Yeah, yeah, there was loads. Um, and it shows you from the Queen um, when she was like 11 years old at her um, mother and father's coronation yeah. right up to the um, current Jubilee portrait. I thought it was lovely and what they did as well was they picked out from the portraits whatever jewellery she was wearing they put them on display as well and that was I thought that was a lovely touch because you get to see it in real life because with a picture you see it and you think oh that must be sparkly yeah but then you actually see it and you go whoa yeah because <laughs> we came up to one and I looked at the show and I was like yeah, oh, my like jaw just dropped, and yeah. I was like, "Oh my gosh!" Yeah, <laughs> I just thought I'd let you know where we are. We are actually at <laughs> the back of Buckingham Palace. This is the gardens, just here. This is where they do the garden party. So I'm gonna just say it straight away. We just went to Sotheby's to the tiara exhibition. So we've seen so many tiaras yeah. now. When we went to Sotheby's, they had those floating tiara of uh, like stands, displays, yeah, wasn't yeah. it? They were excellent, and I thought they would have had something like that here. Yeah. They didn't, which means if you're just walking past, you're just thinking, "Oh, what is that person looking at?" It's you block what's being seen. Yeah. Whereas if they had the floating displays, it would have gone up and down, so people at the back would have been able to see it. And some people were just walking straight past mm. the exhibition. And I think if they had those floating uh, tiara displays, it would have just been so much more spectacular. These tiaras that are on display, wow. Yeah. And, but I think what some of these did was really great is because you could see the whole way around. It was like a 360 of yeah. the tiara. Whereas these ones, because you're just looking at it straight on, mm -hmm. you can't really see all the details. Yeah. But let me tell you, the sparkle, yeah oh my gosh it, they're amazing absolutely amazing yeah. um we got to see the vladimir tiara the girls yeah. of great britain and Ireland, the delhi dunbar yeah the uh, also the diamond <coughs> diadem yeah which was one of my faves mm. it was just absolutely spectacular we saw a brooch that was given to the queen by her father and also the her pearls, pearls yeah just it, the jewelry display was really there was fun. actually i wasn't expecting that many jewels to be yeah. on display i thought it was just the girls of um, great britain and ireland and then the portraits yeah and so i was quite i was pleasantly surprised mm. by what was on display buckingham palace is only open for a few months every single summer we've said before we we would love it if it was open year round especially now that the queen doesn't live here she yeah. resides at windsor majority of the mm -hmm. time for me, it was um, it was great because I haven't been here for ten years. There yeah. was like going through the state rooms. That was like really cool to see, um, and also the exhibition is the main draw. So if you're a tourist coming to the UK and you want to go inside Buckingham Palace, you know mm. it's amazing. When we first went in Shell, there was like this knitted display of the Jubilee. Oh um, my food. god! I nearly forgot about that. It was spectacular. It had like cheese puffs. It had chips. It had French French fancies. It Even had, had the um, platinum Jubilee pudding. <laughs> Honestly, it was amazing, and somebody had knit, not knitted it, like made it out of felt. Felts, yeah. And this was also on display at the Oval Cricket Ground, where the Prince of Wales and the Duchess of Cornwall went um, on an engagement for the Jubilee. And yeah. to see it in person was just spectacular. It was amazing, yeah. and it was very, very busy. A, a little tip for you here: if you're coming, come about two o'clock in the afternoon. Yeah. It's so busy, and it's a very hot day as well today. So yeah, it wasn't 
I, I would say you'd have a much pl more pleasant experience coming a little bit further on later in the season and also a bit later in the day. We just did the state rooms. You can also do the Royal Muse and also the Queen's Gallery. But we've done that before. Yeah. We decided not to do that this time. Honestly, I had I had a really lovely I time. I had a really good time. And you can also get your ticket stamped so that you can come back for free yeah. during the year. So yeah. we're going to do that. And we think we're going to come back just before it closes, the yeah. exhibition closes, so that we can have one last look. Because um, who knows when the these items will go on display again. Exactly. It was lovely seeing the Dorothy Wilde in pictures of the Queen because they were, I've never seen them before. Yeah. I've seen a few of them, but there was different ones that just were just amazing, weren't they? Mm -hmm. Especially with her with the Vladimir Tiara yeah, and the ju jewels. That was amazing. Oh my goodness, those in real life are extraordinary, aren't they? Yeah, really, really good. Absolutely incredible. And when you come out of the palace, these, there's a little cafe. We had a cup of tea. You had a yeah. scone, didn't you? Yeah, I did. Um, and a bit of ice cream. You can get a sandwich as well it's not like it's not like a full meal it is it's just a cafe yeah. um, and then there's a gift shop which we're just going to go into now but there's only toilets at the end of the tour so make sure you go to the toilet yeah. before you start and <laughs> what's hilarious is opposite the cafe there's this like picture of um, the royal family on the balcony for the Jubilee yes and you can have your picture taken with this yeah. but we've just been crying with laughter looking back at the pictures <laughs> so funny like, everyone's doing the same pose of Louis when he's like ah! <laughs> on the balcony with the flyover. As you're going around doing the tour, you go to see lots of different rooms. Probably about what? 15 rooms? Yeah, about 15. There was, yeah. um, when you first go in, you go, you see like the grand staircase. Yep. Um, that's really amazing. And you can actually touch the banister. And I was like, <laughs> Victoria would have touched the banister. This is so random. Yeah. But I was like, yeah. the Queen's touched it. I was, yeah, yeah it's amazing. And, and for a royal fan, especially. Yeah, you know? yeah exactly. And also, before like, the other times we've been, there's been coverings. So you can't actually touch very many things, no. if that makes sense. Yeah. But I actually touched a doorknob. I was like, oh, I've opened <laughs> a, a door in Buckingham Palace. Yeah. <laughs> Went to the throne room uh, we went to the um, the big massive ballroom where they do state banquets we went to the music room where Prince William was christened yeah. you get to see so many different things and everything is opulent everything is chandeliers and gilded if you ever come here just make sure you look up because it, mm -hmm. the ceilings are absolutely stunning and yeah. like the sparkle on the chandeliers wow yeah wow. I've got a little tip for you actually you get a free multimedia guide with your ticket price you could choose a regular or a family mm. I it was a family and it's so much fun you get to do quizzes and and uh, find different things in the room like it's really good for the kids yeah so um yeah, no, i highly suggest that because yeah. i was and, laughing the whole way through and i think like there are so many like families here it's yeah. not just for adults there's loads of kids here as well yeah. and just enjoying the day so yeah i think it's like a great family day out in total with the tour was about two hours i would say about yeah, yeah. definitely do about two hours and uh, make sure you bring a lot of water with you although they do take water off you when you go through security it is a bit like airport security yeah. isn't it i got frisked <laughs> <laughs> so what would you give your um day at buckingham palace rach i would probably give it an eight and a half or nine out of ten just because the exhibition itself that's the main draw mm -hmm. but i would maybe have liked to seen a bit more i think it should have been spread out a bit more um, yeah and I think some more rooms should have been opened. Mm. See, I, I actually think the rooms were a good amount. I wasn't that fussed on the exhibition, and I mean that in the nicest way, because it was a yeah. really lovely exhibition. I think just the way in which it was set out for me, I know, because I've seen it done better in other places, yeah, yeah. it could have been done better here. Um, but I give it a good eight, even no i'd say an eight out of ten i thought it was yeah. really really good i've come to see other exhibitions here which were better mm. but that also didn't deter from my um day here i thought yeah, it was no. really really good i had a great time we're great company yay, yay. <laughs> so that's it for our buckingham palace vlog thank you so much for being here if you'd like to support the channel head on over to ko-fi the link is in the description below don't forget to subscribe to like the um, video and to leave a comment let us know if you've ever been to buckingham palace what's your favorite thing you've done if you're coming to buckingham palace let us know what you're looking forward to seeing so we'd love to know let us know in the comments thank you for watching we'll see you in the next video